no more. Yee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So, with all the side quests done, I think it's time to do something new. And by something new, I mean I'm gonna flop over here at the clubhouse and hopefully work with my Xbox 360 D-pad here. See, there's this other podium here now and uh, what is... What is this special pedestal? Hmm. Well, we're about to check this thing, finally. We've been waiting for you! Yep, it's Toad! <laughs> nice to see you, Ella! I'll come bear your message from Princess Beach! Mm -hmm. Are we coming to Link's Jumpin'? You're in the right to play the attorney at Beach's Castle! Yeah! <laughs> Wouldn't you say competing against the likes of Mario Luigi would be you'll go for his dream? Well, yeah, I, I guess, but I'm probably gonna beat him pretty easily. <laughs> well, some dreams come true, that's why you're here! Well then, shall we go to Peach's Castle? Yeah, sure. <laughs> go ahead, into the lights! Go into the lights. No, wait, actually, no, that's. The, oh, wait, we're not, we're not dying, never mind, okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, the stained glass of Mario is actually a portal of sorts, kind of, I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> woo, woo, woo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Princess Peach, it's, it's Toadsworth. Top Gother, Ella, is pays us a visit. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Greetings, welcome to the Mushroom Kingdom. You've been busy. Been waiting for you. Yeah, waiting way too long. I came to this tree to crush Mario and the Lynx. What do I care about this loser? <laughs> Mamma mia! <laughs> cool at you two. Try and remember, we have a guest. Yeah, well, I. Mm, eh, never mind. <laughs> You're quite lucky, Ella. We're all built to come. Built, we're all about to compete on a newly built mushroom course. Mm, 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 mm. Everyone should have a fair shot at winning since this will be the first singles tourney ever played here. Is it really though? <laughs> I mean, just think of my other playthroughs, but details, fourth wall, you know, that sort of stuff. Attention everybody, I apologize for keeping you. And now all our competitors have now arrived. And now, Mushroom tourney begin! Golfers, are you ready? Um, not yet. No, not not quite yet. A little time to call your nurse? No problem. I'll give you a minute or two, all right? Uh, I'd like to actually chat with people here. Think you could beat me in the mushroom course? Nonsense, unless you're a dirty cheater. That was probably one of my first voices ever. People had to pull strings to get me into this tourney. How nice. What a bunch of idiots. <laughs> first of all, don't talk to me. Ever. Second of all, there's no doubt I'm gonna wipe the course with Mario. Is, are you? Are you really? By the way, you can actually, yeah, you can actually do practice rounds over here. Again, I don't know why you would ever choose to do a practice round. Hey, Anna, hang in there. Do your best. That's my translation of the sound effect. <laughs> it also got really popular here in the Russian Kingdom since so the Russian course got finished. All the golfers here really love the game. All been looking forward to the sturdy. Are you gonna say, yeah, that's what I thought again. Yeah, he always, he always says the same mama me, I swear. The uh, mushroom course was designed to be played in the tourney it was designed by Mario. I do wonder what it's like. We shall see. There's another toad here. <laughs> I practice nothing but tennis. It's like all skills are rusty. Will tennis be cool again? <laughs> I don't know, I'd prefer the, um, golf over tennis myself. Yeah, there's all sorts of little pathways that you can wander around here to check things out, I suppose, but I think that is good. Well, actually, you can, yeah, you jump into the sparkly hole and go back, and yes, anyway, let's begin the tourney. I am ready for now. Well, I'm ready finally now. <laughs> Yahoo! That was a poor choice of words on myself, but Mario kind of, kind of broke up the moment, but anyway. <laughs> Hold one, and yeah, it's Mario's nose. I mean, there's all sorts of different shaped character holes and also unique holes 
um, not based off of characters that have their own unique elements and stuff like that. But for now, let's just focus on one hole at a time, as I always say. So, since the screen is really wide, it's possible to have a really long putt to the hole, but it all depends on where you end up at. Wow, that's, that's a pretty good start. <laughs> And needless to say, uh, since we are above the clouds, wind is gonna be high just like the Elf Shore course. But, you know, this this course isn't nearly anywhere as close as difficult as the Elf Shore course. But it's still the hardest regulation-sized 18-hole course in the game. Anyway, hole 2, star-shaped green, also star-shaped bunkers. Uh, if you have a high drive distance, you might want to actually just like cut off all this and just go in the rough over there. In fact, that's what I might do, <laughs> even though it's kind of risky, but I'll, I'll do the normal route. And by the way, look out for mushrooms. Mushrooms will bounce your ball like crazy. So I'm going to try and hit my ball. Oh shoot, that's under hit, so I'm going to top spin it. Yeah, I'm going to try to hit my ball between the bunker and the mushroom, bounce off something to the next fairway, preferably. Okay, good. <laughs> I thought I was going to, I don't know, maybe end up behind the mushroom in a bunker. Anyway, yeah, that's why I wanted to cut off part of the hole because it's yeah it's, it's pretty long <laughs> if you take this way around it so yeah I'd recommend if you can you know, like if you have that sort of accuracy to aim for that rough island way at the mountain peak on the left side there I don't know how you'd walk to that or drive to it in a car but you can get there I assure you <laughs> anyway uh, birdie putts I just moved it a smidge to the left because I got a good angle at it so I don't think it's gonna break that much yeah there we go Two hundred through two holes, really thin green coming up here. Now I've got piranha plants here, and they're like really tall trees. Basically, like they don't really do much of anything other than just get in your way. Well, then again, that's kind of what they do in regular Mario games as well. But uh, over here, you know, you're used to maybe a tree or a cactus size. Oh no, no you're probably not going to get your ball over one of those if you're relatively close to it. And look how long this hole is too. I'm hitting into the green with a driver again. Actually, well, maybe I could get away. Nah, I'll do driver. I was gonna say maybe I can get away with a three wood, but it's raining, so I think that's gonna slow it down enough if I just use regular backspin. And if I use a three wood, I think the rain is gonna make it hang back too far. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's not too shabby considering my distance away from the hole. A switch to the right, uh, a switch to the left. Excuse me, I moved it all the way over there to try and cut the break out of it. Oh, I didn't need, <laughs> didn't even need to move it at all. Alright, three under through three holes. And by the way, this this is a new surface here. This is rock. It's kind of similar to waste area in a way, so I wouldn't hit on that. And we also got another new surface, these exclamation point special panels. Let's see if I can land my ball on one of them to show you what they do. Well, at least what this one does specifically. Like you see it's got a little red track there. Well, if you land your ball on it, oh, I didn't make it on there. It'll actually, well, anyway, it'll actually blow up those ba bombs. So there's all sorts of stuff that you can do to kind of uh, maybe decide to play this hole differently. Like maybe you want to blow up the ba bombs to clear out the rock spires and stuff that are in your way because it'll blow those things up as well. But uh, as you've seen, I missed, so I can't really do that right now. But well, that's all right. And there's also heath, that uh, those light green tufts of fluff there are indeed heath too. So this course has got every element we've come across so far, and then some. And it's not even the Lynx Club. <laughs> the Lynx Club was tough enough, but this one is even higher than that. Drop and stop please, thank you. How you like those apples? Birdie number four. Yeah, I'm pretty used to this course as well, so uh, I expect to win this tournament on my first run through it. <laughs> Ooh, let's see if I can hit one of these panels this time. Like, I, I don't even have to hit these panels to make a good score, as you've seen. It's just that I want to show you what the heck one of these animations are like. <laughs> I use Super Backspin to control it because it's going to bounce too far forward. There we go! They're called Play Panels, and Fuse has been lit! <laughs> And watch it crumble everything around them as well. So that's a way to clear out the weight to the hole. But as I said, not really necessary to do that to get birdies and stuff like that. So don't worry about it if you don't manage it. Just play to the best of what you've got and you'll be able to get your birdies still. Well, unless you miss hit or something. But don't think about the miss hits. Think about only the 
what can go what good can come out of it. Uh, I'm not gonna move the cursor at all. I'm just gonna hit pass through all the break. Yeah, I figured that would go in. It went in on the right edge, but that's all right with me. Now you've got lava, which kind of looks like mud actually, but lava functions as out of bounds. And uh, yeah, this is a awfully tight pin location, isn't it? <laughs> this is a part of what makes this course so hard is stuff like this. But I'm gonna go for it just because I'm feeling gutsy. And if I go in the water, it doesn't matter that much because I'm so far ahead already. Well, in terms of the whole curve and whatnot, but yeah, that turned out pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to make the shots. You can't fool me, game. Just knock the ball into the rough just in front of the green, and it'll just plop on there. And, oh, by the way, this stuff right here, that's... I, I, I'm not sure what it is, but it's out of bounds. I, I want to say it's water or something because it, it sort of looks like it, but... I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's not moving or anything like that, it's just some... It just seems like some weird blue color rock. <laughs> I'm gonna try and land on one of those play panels again. Hopefully, maybe... Eh, I'm too long, but that's not bad. I just wanted to get up there somewhere, but hitting at that play panel would help... Oh, actually, maybe that one wouldn't help. It would have blown up this bomb, which would only have broken up these three spires. Um, as you can tell by the pathways here, I really need to cut this back here. You can see where the lines lead to each of them. There's a crisscross for the middle two, so the left middle one will lead to the right one, the right middle one will lead to the left one, and the left one will just lead to the left of a bomb. But since I got a good angle at this here, I can just go right in between all the junk and hopefully control the ball because there's 22 miles per hour of wind here. So, super backspin for the flat spot there. Ooh, control! Oh! Ooh! First miscue! I'm gonna try and chip it in, though. <laughs> of course! I am gonna. I moved it a little bit over to the right because of the wind and everything like that. And, ah, Didn't judge the wind enough. That is alright. I will take a par. <laughs> Sometimes you've gotta take a par, I guess. Or, you know, you just restart your entire round. <laughs> So we got some more rock, we got some more rock spires, we got fast fairway, we got bouncy mushrooms, lava. <laughs> I'm gonna, well, I'm not sure what it hit. There's not, there's no safe spot here. Uh, but it is a power five, so I can probably get away with hitting far enough away from a tighter portion of the track, I guess you could say. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the safer bet, because I'm only 329 yards away. Not gonna get an eagle, of course. Well, unless I chip it in, but it's it's a matter of course management more than anything here with my current drive distance. So don't don't worry too much about getting eagles on every power five or something like that. Just relax, have a good time. By the way, I think these are Bowser um, footprint type things here in the lava shapes. I'm almost positive they are, but I could be wrong. Anyway, let's stop messing around. <laughs> Uh, oh no! Um, uh, can I curve like mm, curve right to? Uh, I'm not, like powered up here to give myself more heights. Uh, there's no win here, so I could. Oh boy, bouncy mushroom could could spell the doom of my ball here because it could push my ball into the lava, but it did not, so I'm okay. So this drop and stop should work just fine. Look at that. <laughs> Little bit, a little bit zippy on the backspin there, but that is okay as long as it stays in position. Whew. And with that, I think I'm gonna end off the part here and finish off the tournament in the next part because it's you know there's gonna be some cutscenes and stuff like that. So yeah, I think this is a good time to end it off. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part.